I don't want to limit myself. At first I was like that too, but I do see the significance in being able to reach your audience any which way you can. Right, so, you right. know, you have those people who are going to, they, they trust Amazon, you know, mm-hmm. they, they want to be able to go there. So I want to be able to provide my work wherever they want to go. You know, right. they want to go to the store. I want to have it there. If you like, if you're a fan of indie, I want to make sure it's there. If you're right. a fan of coming to the author direct, I got boxes of books here. You can hit me up anytime <laughs> you want to, and I will gladly sign it and send you some goodies. Yeah, <laughs> we always like the goodies now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the goodies. <laughs> yes. And look, that, now that's the benefit of coming to me now. Amazon ain't going to give you no extra. Right, but right. going to give you some extra. You, you get the personal. You get it signed, sealed, delivered with a kiss right. on the side. Yes, that's what I like. <laughs> right. You get the autographed copy. You might get you a little magnet, a little pen, a little you know, keychain, the uh, wax parts. Where, you know, I, I throw goodies in there. <laughs> Now, see, I, I, we've been talking about your book. You know, you hear for nominated of author of the year. I want, I, I do want to ask something else, but before I do, I got, I do got to get this out. You just started again, Diamonds After Dark. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, yes. You ain't gonna read that juicy piece and then think you're gonna get away with Diamonds After Dark. No, we got to know yeah. what, what is Diamonds After Dark. Diamonds After Dark is a podcast. Actually, I started that podcast. Um, it was in 2019. It was me and at the time, two other young ladies. But right now, it's just me and Thomas V. And we kind of went on a high hiatus for 2020 um, just because I had so many projects that I was working on. But it's what I call what we deem our brown liquor talk. So <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, don't come there. back to the screen for that. Brown liquor talk? Wait a minute. <laughs> brown, brown, brown liquor talk, you know, we, we talk about any and everything on that podcast. That's more of a free, what's on your mind? We'll pick a topic like um, our next one is called New Year, New Me and how people abuse that saying. So we yeah. kind of break that down, you know, as to why we feel like it's BS, you know? And, I and was thinking you- that myself today. I you really know, was coming into you know, the new it, year. You always how, have that testimony of new year, right, new me. Right. And how you can, it, but is it really though? You know, it, that right. Is, is it really? Like, is it really though? Is it really new? I think it you is. Know, I don't think so. Now I'll say this and I, and I said this on the show that's coming up on January the 7th. Um, you could say new year, new me. And if you accomplished what you did, wanted to do last year, you're free to, but if yes. you're still working on the same thing from 2000, it's just it's the you. new year same, new year same you. Same you. So. <laughs> new year same you. <laughs> new year same you. <laughs> you got time to level up. We only four days in. <laughs> right, right. Come on now. Come on now. I kid you not. I was just thinking that today. Like, ooh, what am I going to talk about on the show? Yeah, New Year's resolutions. I don't do them. New Year, new right. me. I don't do, I don't do really. them. Really? Because the journey is ongoing. Right. So it's not, it's not, it's not really ever going to be a new me. It's just, just stepping more into me. You know, and, more of me. and you know what we came up with? We were like, new year, better me. Wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta give you that. I gotta put, put. Uh, uh, no, right. put applause. It ain't, it ain't playing for me. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's right. I had to get the sound effect. I got- Cause I can only snap with one hand. <laughs> the left one doesn't agree with <laughs> I love it. I love it. I saw that come up and I was like, I have to ask her about that on the red carpet. And especially when you're talking about brown liquor talk, I, I'm going to bring the white liquor. But I'm bring, bring the white liquor. You can bring okay. the white liquor. Just, just don't bring me no Patron. It, it might be a whole different podcast. Ooh, <laughs> never mind. I got you on the Bacardi rum. <laughs> That's right. I can do that. I can do I that. Can do that. <laughs> Before you go, Untamed, who is your red carpet wearer tonight? Now, Mine is Ashley Stewart, yeah. paparazzi for the necklace, but oh, I'm going to shout out because y'all know I got, I have to always represent somebody. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful oh, bracelet. Now you all may can't see it, but the little words it. right here, it's, it's you for Untamed, but Untamed is spelled out. It's a little oh, letter there. Okay. That is by um, Poetic Designs. Um, and she's black owned business, custom homemade, creative uh items that you can you know 
I always say slay the, uh, slay the PD way. That was the term I came up for her. Yeah. Slay the PD way. She does custom jewelry, um, anything, like anything her hands can create, she can make it like she just wow. blessed. I call her magic fairy dust hands. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it. it's created by her. So definitely check her out. Um, awesome, creative. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm always supporting somebody. So I got to make sure I yeah. shout out. <laughs> oh, and thank you for your uh, conscious corner. You shouted out my business, Aja's Essentials. I, did. I, I appreciate did. you. Thank you, you and K. Well, and the ladies. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, K. You. Rochet, uh, we did the our what was it our year end? I think it was our mm-hmm. year end closer. We yeah. wanted to shout out um, small black owned businesses for people to support, to get gifts for the holiday season. So yes, you are one of our business. I think we shouted out 20. And so you are one of them, you know, and I definitely have to keep replaying that one because that's those are gifts that keep on giving. Yes, they do. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support <laughs> so much. I will continue supporting and posting you like crazy, like I do everywhere. And if there's Thank anything you. going down, make sure to send it my way. And I've got you back no matter what. I sure will. Our socially conscious corner is going to pick up after the inauguration. So that Sunday after the inauguration, we'll be back, you know, with our take on gotcha. the, state of, the state of the union. State of the union. <laughs> yeah. That's a conversation for everybody at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I I tried. I said that's a therapy session because otherwise, you know what? Who mm, we have to we yeah, have to get we, that out. <laughs> we have to woosa <laughs> that part out, you know, <laughs> before we pack up and move to Canada, <laughs> right? <laughs> Untamed, it is always a pleasure having you here in the building with me on red carpet. And I cannot wait to see you uh, March 6th so we can live stream it and see if you are the author of the year. So get your votes up, Queen. Yes, yes, I surely will. I sure will. All right, love. Thank you for being here tonight. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thanks. All right, we're going to keep the red carpet moving. We actually have a poet coming in the building who would like to go ahead and drop some, uh, drop a piece for us. So I'm going to go ahead and call him on in. Cousin Jay, are you with me tonight? I know you Hey, do. sis, everything <laughs> is looking off the hook. This is looking like the Academy Awards. <laughs> yeah, we like that too. We like that too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, t- I said tonight we having fun. It's easy. I'm not going to be so stiff and rigid. We're having fun. This is the Red Carpets. Plus, it's our first show of 2021. 